Bonsoir tout le monde. I am so pleased to be here on this May the 4th, surrounded by my colleagues from both sides of the aisle to celebrate the people who write op-eds for Katie and are trying to figure out how to refer to Jerry other than a senior government source. And I think you'll all agree the food tonight was pretty great, but I was hoping for sushi. I love Chinese food. Before we begin, I need to recognize the Parliamentary Press Gallery's sponsors who made tonight possible and who contribute significantly to the hard work you all do. Our bronze level sponsor is once again the Aga Khan Foundation. At the silver level, we've got the Government of India. And finally, this year's Press Gallery Dinner's gold sponsor is none other than SNC-Lavalin. Thank you all for your donations. Thank you for your donations. Security will see you out. Now, you sometimes hear about liberal bias in the media these days, how they're constantly letting off our government, letting our government off the hook for no good reason. Frankly, I think that's insulting. It's clear that they let us off the hook for a very good reason, because we paid them $600 million. Because we paid them $600 million. Because we paid them $600 million. Granted, 2019 so far has been more thunderstorm watch than sunny ways, but we're doing everything we can to make sure that the empire does not strike back in these parole wars. We're liberals, so we launched consultations and met with experts. Astronauts? Astronauts? Yeah, that was a good one. We're also building an incredible team of Jedi. You already know of some of them and their mind tricks. We've got Ralph Goodale of Regina Monologue fame. Catherine McKenna, who I don't know if you've heard, thinks that pollution cannot be free. And Marco Mendicino, who goes on TV panels every single night to remind you that these are not the droids you're looking for. If that's not hope and hard work, I don't know what is. But I'll stop here, because you can read about the rest of the team in the Globe and Mail, which recently launched its own version of Hill Climbers.